This time of the year is probably one of my absolute favorite times of the year. Not only are the days incredibly long, but it also feels like everyone is just really happy when you meet them outside. And I do think that this time of the year is the best time to make vlogs. But I gotta be honest, I am feeling a little bit rusty. Shooting a little bit of a time lapse of Gothenburg. Cranes over there usually look good, especially when the clouds are moving. This is going to be the tallest skyscraper in all of Scandinavia. You're gonna be sick. That view up there? <laughs> oh, yes. I started doing this trash throw back in 2020 during COVID and uh, just love it. I think it's a fun thing to do. Oh, always on the first try as well. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. need to do a little bit of a cleaning here in the office. It's always like that, you know? Take a look at that desk. So many things just floating around here. There's a couple of things that I am currently working on that I cannot reveal as of just yet, but it's gonna be very interesting as soon as I can share with you what it is that I'm working on. I know that some of you are not actually subscribed to my, my, my uh, uh, main channel and vice versa, but if you've been around on my main channel and my Instagram, then you probably know what I want to reveal very soon. I've been taking it a little bit slower with the videos that I've been making, both on my main channel and on this channel, because I've needed to make time for things that will help me to grow my business into a point where I don't need to make as many YouTube videos as I have been doing for the previous couple of years. One of my goals that I went into this year was to work less but make more money, which kind of sounds strange because it's sort of like counterproductive, I guess, but it has actually panned out and it has definitely not been an easy task, mainly because my my mind is sort of like wired to just keep pushing, just make another video, just do something that will take you one step further ahead. But it's also something that I've felt for a long time that is not going to be sustainable and I'm not actually enjoying the present as much as I would like to. But now for the last three, I would say three months, I have been in a very good place and I'm just trying to sort of like align all the things so that I can narrow down the thing that I want to do, the thing that I need to do in order to maintain the trajectory that I'm on. Ten minutes, skip a rope. That's one hell of a warm up. Today we're gonna do a pull workout and this is gonna be the first pull workout that I've done in, I think, around two months. One six minutes of workout, feels good, but I definitely feel that I haven't been working out for quite some time. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Yes, sir. No. Wise words. Hello there. Is a jumping frog a happy frog? And if the frog says, Wah! is he surprised then? <laughs> I've been sitting here trying to sort of like design the website or redesign the website, I guess, and make it look a little bit better and a little bit more modern and um, make it easier for you to use whenever you access, access, access the website. And for those of you who haven't seen it, it's gonna be linked in the description down below. It's basically containing everything right now. Instead of having plingrim.com and then FCPX Academy, I decided to put everything under peelmethod.com to make it simpler for people when they want to learn the peel method. The peel method is basically everything that I do that I can teach in a way that I would like to be teached when I started doing the things that I do. 
if that made sense. I hope it did. And right now it kind of consists of my Final Cut Pro course, it consists of my LUTs, but there will also be a filmmaking course, a business slash influencer course that I will try to attack from my point of view. And the key thing here is that, again, I call it the PL method because this is the way that I do things. This is not like a, this is how you do it. This is how I do it. It's going to be a huge part of the business moving forward for this year and uh, going to be very interesting to see how we can make it grow. And I would love to have you sort of like be in on this journey and see the ups and downs of actually running a business and what can go good and what can go bad and how we try to overcome all the hurdles that comes with having a successful business and an unsuccessful business. Because at times you never know, it might be unsuccessful, but then we're going to turn it. <clears throat> and make it successful. But it's been a long day. Hello, <laughs> 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 <laughs>